we are talking EastEnders. Michelle Collins is right here and get ready because we thought we'd just quickly recap a little bit of the extraordinary life of Cindy Beale. Okay, get this. She first appeared in Albert Square, 1988. She set her sights on Ian Beale. <laughs> then, do you remember, she went on to have twins, Lucy and Peter. Things went all right, shall we say, when Cindy hired a hitman to murder Ian in 1996. Ah, we've all been there. Uh, Cindy later gave birth to Cindy Jr, but allegedly died while giving birth. Although, unbeknown to Ian, Cindy was actually alive and living in sunny Marbella. A cut to 2023 <laughs> last year. <gasps> and Cindy was reunited with Ian, living in France, before her eventual return to Walford. <gasps> Michelle! <laughs> Oh, what a story it is! Shouldn't laugh. <laughs> I love that. When things went awry. Just, it's like, well, you know, when when you decide to kill your husband, it's maybe not the thing. It's not the most romantic thing no, in the world. No, but she kind of decided that she didn't want to do it last minute, and then it was I don't know. It know. always, it always back in the days of call boxes, she couldn't get through. <gasps> God, don't you I remember? remember that. Yes. yes. See if she'd had a mobile phone. I know, phone. but you know what? It's soap, isn't it? Are uh, we kind of allowed? I mean, I we're never totally thought. Allowed. I never thought I would ever, ever. Because that get was back. it. You thought that's it. That's that chapter over. Well, but there's always because ways. she died on she died Adam. on screen. Mm. Oh, sorry, off screen. She yes. died off screen. What am I saying? So, I was okay because I was kind of sunning myself filming Sunburn, and I think it was Barbara Windsor that told me that she'd she'd been to the funeral or somebody, and I was like, Cindy's funeral. I didn't even know she died. <laughs> <laughs> you think they would have told you? You think they might have told me? <laughs> yeah, wouldn't you? Up and say, oh, and I by know. the way, oh, and by I the way. Know, but, but how but... is it after? I mean, how many? What, what was the gap? It must be over uh, twenty years. It was about 25, wow. 24, 25. So going yeah. back there, because you would think, oh, you're going back, it's like putting on comfy slippers, it'll be all fine. But I would imagine huge changes, huge, enormous Absolutely. Uh, you know, I was um, I was in my 30s when I left my early 30s, and now I'm like 61. <laughs> and so I, I'm a very, very different person these days. Mm. And I think, and yes, it has. I mean, there are only four cast members left, uh, the original members. Right. Uh, Steve McFadden. Of course. Uh, Julie Telforth, Letitia Dean and Adam Woodyatt. Yeah. That's it. Oh. Um, there are some people, crew, who are still there, still there which is lovely That's when you good. come in and you know That's what it's really like good. when you, you, yeah, you recognise nice. your, your crew and it's lovely. Um, but yeah, it has changed. Huge cast. Mm. Uh, 56, 57. I think when I was there, there was probably... 25 or something. Some we do four a week, whereas in those days it was two. A week. Wow. So it's a lot. And there's probably some cast that you'll never see because you oh, won't, yes. you won't you interact do. with them. Well, there are still people now that I've not You've done not any scenes <laughs> with. Yeah, that I, I, yeah I, might, I might see them in the, in the kind of green room area, but apart from that, you don't no, see people good. all but the time. Isn't it good? I mean, you mentioned there the other women who are, who are there. And isn't it good to see women of a certain age oh. getting brilliant storylines? Absolutely. Right at the heart yes. of the whole thing. Well, I think soaps have always done that. I mean, Definitely. back to, I've always had great matriarchal um, figures, like back to the days of Pat Phoenix, you know, ah, in Coronation in Street, course. everyone loved, I mean, sorry to mention the other, but but they always have had well, great female both. characters. You've been in both, you're In the beginning, you know, um, Anne Jean, to Dobson, yeah. Pauline Fowler, they had great storylines. And for me, you know, it was a big decision to go back, but I thought, you know, who are, where are those what roles for older women? Mm. And where is that visibility for women of a certain age? Yeah, that's you know, we've still true. got a lot more to give as, a, well, as, as women, as me, a, a, as an actor. Yes. So that's kind of, I just thought, no, actually. So, and and I have, I'm having some, some great storylines. And, and you're right, you've amassed all of this experience. Mm, yeah. So why not use it yes, when, you're good, at the peak, when you're at the peak of your powers? Of course. You are using that, though, because you've got your own independent production company and you have been have. very yeah. busy doing that. I don't know how you manage to juggle everything, but you've been very busy doing that yeah. and, make it, and, and making sure that the stories you're telling reflect Absolutely. who you are. And I mean, that kind of came about um, sort of a few years back, probably seven sort of years ago or something, when I just felt like I kind of wasn't getting the roles that I really wanted mm -hmm. to. And so I decided that I was going to put on a play and I found a writer, Brilliant. commissioned this writer. We kind of co-wrote this play, put it on at the Park Theatre, it was really a success. Then I did another, a, a short film, a 20 minute film, um, produced that. And then I thought, and then kind of lockdown, I 
got involved in a kind of writer's room and that's how it's kind of started. Yeah, and, and I work with a lawyer at the moment. I've got about 10, 11 projects on my slate. I've got wow. two things which are going and I'm, I don't want to jinx it and no. say, but, oh, no, 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 but no. it's kind of exciting and it, and it kind of fuels my creativity as well as not saying that EastEnders isn't creative, but I'm kind of... It's a different week. It was funny, yeah. I, I just met um, Sue Cleaver. I haven't seen Sue since um, Corey, who's now on Loose Women. And, yeah. and we're both kind of the same age. And she just said, you know, she's doing everything. She just said, I'm, I'm just not going to turn things yeah, down. Yeah, she did I'm, I'm at my peak, yeah. And yeah, like, and she looks like it too. She looks yeah, like she's, she's having really the having best a, time. a great time. And, and I think, you know, and why, and why shouldn't we? We just, we have a lot to give. And I, and I think I said to you as well, have you seen um, True Love? Oh, that amazing series on channel. Wonderful. I know I shouldn't be promoting the other side. It's but, fine. You know, it's but it's fine. about real women and there's lines. They've got lines on their faces. She and then Lindsay Duncan is amazing, beautiful. unapologetic. Just, you know, and we don't yeah. want to play perfect. I mean, which no. is why I think I've got away with Cindy is because she is kind of unapologetic and... Oh. and People and she's not perfect. She's not the perfect parent, you know. No, but she's really not, <laughs> and she's still <laughs> trying mildly. to make up. But she's, she's trying, trying to which, which is kind of why I suppose we should get back to Eastenders. <laughs> is um, is um, you know, this week she's uh, she's trying to amend the relationships with yep. her daughters, and there's obviously a lot to deal with. Mm. She hasn't seen her daughters, her children, in, in eight years, and then but she's also got another. Oh, there she is, Luke, yes. um, uh, child living in Germany. I mean, I can't keep track of all these children, Lorraine, honestly. It's quite difficult it's... to keep track of them all, to be fair. Do it call is. it the Von Trapp family. <laughs> but, but it's kind of nice, because I've got two cams. I've got lovely um, Peter and Claire, who's my stepson, and then I've got Gina and Anna mm -hmm. and George, and I've got Ian, so I've got the best of both ones. You absolutely have. Yeah. You completely have. Do you ever see your lovely husband? Because you're always working. Uh, no, <laughs> actually, no, that's another reason. He is, is because it's EastEnders is not far from my home now, so I'm home a lot more Excellent. than if I was touring or if I was filming away. So that, um, yeah, he's very understanding, though. Well, he's, he's a good he's lad. Very You've got a good one there, yes. I have to say. I, I have, He's I a have. cracker. Enjoy everything you're doing. Come back and see us. Um, you know, when, and talk about your, your projects oh, that will, you're doing because you. I think it's so important. The only way things will change As is if, if we change. Yes, exactly. absolutely. Yeah, take yes, the power back. Definitely. That's the thing. Thank you. Thank Great you. to see you. Thank you, Michelle. And East Angels, of course, continues tonight, half past seven on BBC One.